In this example, we're going to determine the domain for this function, f of x, and what we have here is the fourth root of this polynomial expression, x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4x plus 16. If you'd like to go ahead and try this first, pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work this domain together. All right, so when we see this function definition, we see that it's the fourth root. So it's an even root or an even index, which means that this radicand cannot be negative. So we need to write this x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4x plus 16 as an inequality because it must be greater than or equal to zero. So must be non-negative. So if that's the case, then how can we solve this inequality? Well, we'll do so by taking this left side and factoring it and setting it first equal to zero to go ahead and find some critical points. So factoring this, it looks like I can factor by grouping to get going. So we'll take an x squared out of that first pair. And so I'll have x minus four. And it looks like I can take a negative four out right there and it leaves me with x minus four. Set that equal to zero, like I said. So we have x squared minus 4 times x minus 4, which of course uh, this critter can factor down as the uh, difference of squares here. So x minus 2, x plus 2, x minus 4, all of that equals 0. So using our 0 property of multiplication, I can go ahead and set each one of these factors equal to 0 and solve, and so I'll have one, two, three values of x, and those values will be positive two, negative two, and positive four. So let's go ahead and draw those on a number line. We'll just kind of plot them. So negative two is this first one, and then we have positive two, and we have four. And so these values are the places where our function will end up being zero. So we'll have the fourth root of zero equals zero, which is really nice. So in these regions here, uh, we will have either positive or negative values. So obviously the negative values are no good, so we don't wanna use them, but we do wanna use all the regions where the values come out to be positive. So we need some test points. So maybe let's use x equals negative three x equals 0, x equals positive 3, and maybe x equals 5. Okay, so we're plugging them in now to this inequality. We had x cubed and so forth and so on. We need it to be larger than or equal to 0. So we need to be positive. So let's plug 0 in first. That's a great one to use. So 0, 0, 0, 16. So 16 is indeed positive. So this region is good to go. So let's try positive 3. So three cubed, and we'll just jot my work down over here. So x equals three. So it'll be three cubed minus four times, well, nine is 36, minus four times three is 12, plus 16. So we have negative 48 and positive, what, uh, 43. So definitely it's gonna be negative. So that's a no-go right there. So let's try a positive five. So uh, 125 minus 100 minus 20 plus 16. So we have 25 minus 20 plus 16. Yeah, that'll definitely be positive. So that's good to go. And finally, we had our negative three over here. So make sure we can see it all. So negative 27 minus 36 plus 12 plus 16. No, those negatives definitely are larger than those positives. So that guy's negative. Okay, so we have a couple of regions that work. So we have this one here and then this one here. So when we write our domain, let's go ahead and do it in interval notation. So we know the values from negative two to two are good to go, and we can use the endpoints because of course when we plug in negative two and two, it gives us a zero, and we can take the fourth root of zero, that's just zero. So our domain will include those endpoints. So negative two to positive two, inclusive. And union, because we have another region as well, we'll start up at four, and I'll use a bracket for the same reason and we're gonna go up to positive infinity, and infinities always get parentheses. So here will be the domain for this function, f of x, 
And let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and just kind of verify that that indeed is the domain. So based on the graph we just saw, uh, from negative 2 to 2 is being used in the x values and from 4 up to infinity is being used. So we can kind of verify that our answer is correct by looking at the graph.